G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Time for another quick tip. Another quick tip. This time, push rods and horns. Now, quite often you'll get a lot of ARFs or buy, yeah, particularly ARFs or even plug and flies where you get a push rod and you get a servo and you've got to push the push rod through the hole in the servo arm, but the holes in the servo arm are too small and no matter how hard you push, it won't go through. So, what do you do? Um, if you have a drill this size, of course you could drill it, but not everyone has a drill uh, the right size for the wire. And even then I've noticed with nylon, especially if you drill it, it will close up again actually. It kind of stretches during the drilling operation, so if you use exactly the right size drill bit, it's still going to be a little bit tight sometimes. But there is a much simpler way to put a big piece of wire through a small hole, and I'll show you what it is. And what you have to do is take your little piece of wire off to the grinding wheel. And if you don't have a grinder, I really recommend you invest in one. They're super duper cheap. If you've got a Dremel, you can use a little Dremel wheel, clamp your Dremel in the vise, and, or trap the, clamp the wire in the vise and use your Dremel grinding, grinding stone. But you want to create a little bit of a, a bevel, kind of a, a chisel point on that piece of wire there, where it's up there by the Z bend. And then just take the diameter down a little bit by grinding in from the side. So you end up with a kind of a chisel with a slightly relieved on one side and that's going to be your drill bit. So let's take it back to the bench and see what it looks like. So here we are fresh back from the grinding wheel and as you can see I've got a kind of a chisel point looking from that end there and if you look from here you can see the top end of that is ground down a little so it's, it's like a three-sided point but uh, now what we can do if I can do this without going all out of shot is we can take our control horn like so and we can choose the hole we want to put it in and we just give it a bit of a spin around. See it's a Z-bend so you can spin it around like this. Let me just try and do this in the wall and shot. Here we go. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. So you're basically drilling your way through with this improvised little drill you've made. You can see the little bits of plastic coming out there. So you don't even need a drill. You've got the, the swivelly roundy bit here and eventually with a little bit of sweat. You can see that's gone in there. Then you can just basically wiggle it through and voila there you go look at that so there you go and you see there's a little bit of swarf there from a, from the drilling operation but this is a really nice tight fit there's no slop in there perfect fit for the size of the wire and didn't even need a drill did you so that's another tip simple quick tip from rc model reviews i hope you find that useful um, put a comment if you like it give it a thumbs up if you like it otherwise stay tuned there'll be more of this simple stuff coming up to make life easier if you didn't know this already thanks for watching Bye for now.